just set to go for the Melbourne Cup. Stand by for the race that stops the nation. How can a horse that was winning come last? If you can go from first to last, no reason you can't go from last to first. Michelle, thank you for sharing your life story. What a life you've lived though. <laughs> like, how does it feel to see it on the big screen? Uh, initially very overwhelming, but now I'm just so excited about it. I absolutely love it. Um, my family loves it, which was the most important thing for me. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. I think it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, they've really captured my brother Stephen, yeah. um, which I was really quite concerned how they were going to get the best of him out and they've just nailed it. He's so naturally himself in the film and um, yeah, for me that's the best part. Yeah, he's a bit of a breakout star, isn't he? <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> actor award. <laughs> You're riding slow, pick it up. I want to ride group ones, I want to be the best. Hi, I'm Michelle Payne. Uh, I'm a jockey, I'm available for track work. It was so unexpected that that day I'm at a barbecue at the Melbourne Cup and um, I didn't know girls were jockeys, didn't know one was riding. It wasn't until the 200 I heard Michelle Payne. It wasn't until the race colours said history today at Flemington, Michelle Payne, the first woman to, to win the Melbourne Cup. And then Stevie runs out and puts the sash on and they dismount and hug and I'm like, who's that? Realised that was her brother, Googling away, had the whole family story in five minutes. And I was just like, this is the great Australian story and it ticks all the boxes. It's the country meets the city. It's the great Aussie battler. You know, it's a girl riding 100 to 1 on a horse owned by a bunch of guys whose wives were probably going to divorce them if they ever bought another one, <laughs> riding against Lloyd Williams and the Sheik and the greatest race in the world. It just... And I wanted to do a female story. I wanted to do an aspirational story. I wanted to do a coming of age story, but I could never imagined in my wildest dreams that a story like this could even exist. And more importantly, that um, I would be given the extraordinary privilege. <laughs> Who's that riding your horse, baby? A woman jockey. The girl's never gonna win the Melbourne Cup, mate. Get off me! Get back where you belong! You must be exhausted. You work twice as hard and get half the ride. It's not just about speed, it's about patience. Michelle Payton, get back to win. You've fought through like adversity in that in your career in racing. Um, Rachel, did you feel that there was some sort of like pushback as well in you as a female director? I, I reckon the barriers were actually my own. They were me not believing in myself enough and um, it took me till I was 50 to go, you know what, if I'm going to fail, I'll do it greatly. <laughs> I'll spectacularly fail. Um, and, I, and, and I'm going to give myself permission to do that. And so that's my message for women about, you know, what I've achieved is, you know, dare to fail. You're out of your mind. Get married, go travelling and have kids. I don't see you telling your husbands to give up. She was my first choice always and um, I also knew she had the same work ethic as Teresa. Like she did the work. She was riding, she was on the equisizer twice a day. She was wow. doing her squats, building her legs up. And thank God she did because there was one day she was on a horse that bolted at Flemington. She did 2400 Ooh. hard on the rail <laughs> in Michelle's racing saddle and if she hadn't had done the work she hadn't have been yeah. that swatty girl uh, that was really doing the physical hard yards. She would have come off and God wow. knows where she... Coming late, the 